Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. This is Rafik Javed and today I'm going to show you how to read the data from Excel sheet using iteration of rows or columns using Python OpenPy Excel. So for this, I'll be showing you how my data set is available in my Excel sheet. This is my data sheet, that is state and capital. And I have this uh, six, num six rows and two columns. So here I will be iterating through each rows to get the data or I can iterate through each columns. So let me show you what are the ways we can iterate based on the requirement. First, as usual, we need to import the module that is open by Excel. Now we need to connect to the workbook that is say path is equal to R. Since this is my related path, so it's then file equal to open by Excel dot workbook path sheet is equal to file dot okay. Now I need to iterate to each rows and columns to get my data for cell in item dot rows so for cell in either rows here we do use it min max method min row equal to if you see my min row minimum row is two max row equal to 6 then mean col column is equal to 1 max column equal to 2 then we need to get the values only true ok if you see here my min row is 2 and max row is 6 same way min, min column is 1 max column is 2 so here is my now we will be having a form print statement print cell let us run the program iteration in the rows is not defined You see here it is uh, reading Assam Dispur Tamil Nadu so it is just uh, row wise it is uh, just uh, ex executing row wise so from row 2 to row 6 it is executed now we will be iterating through columns similar way we can just write CLS calls what it should do is like it should list all in one set Assam Tamil Nadu all the state in one set and the next line will be all the capitals see here Assam, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar so make sure and sure like these are all in tuples and this can be cannot be modified directly from here if you need to modify anything from here you should change the data set that is it should change it from tuple to list so I have an entire tutorial uh, for how to convert the data set from tuple to list in my previous videos if you want to do any such kind of executions, you can uh, refer my old video. Okay, next, uh, what we are going to say is we will be iterating through each rows. Uh, we don't need to iterate the columns, say I need to iterate through rows only. Say rows, min row 2, max row 6, min column 1, max column 1. for since for row in this now for cell in row ok 
Here we type shell dot hello. You don't need this. So if you want to execute, uh, if you want to fetch the value only by column wise or single column, then you just go with this formula. Now if you see, it is just going to fetch you for the single column, row wise iteration for single column. Okay, this is how we can uh, iterate to rows or columns to fetch the data, uh, fetch the data from Excel sheet using Open by Excel. Next, we'll be seeing uh, how we can write n number of data to an Excel sheet. So I will just uh, remove it. So I will just put uh, time here, and I don't need this column as of now. So I'll just show you in one column how to write n number of uh, n number of rows. How how to write the data for n number of rows? Open back a schedule. Date time. Time. So these are the modules we'll be using for doing this activity. Now we'll be defining a sk job, schedule job, schedule. What I need to do is like I need to fetch the date and time of the current current uh, system. Say x1 equal to date time dot date time dot now time equal to x1 dot strf time. So what's the so this is nothing but we just will be formatting the time d uh, percentage month percentage year percentage hour percentage percentage m minute and percentage second okay now what we are going going to do is like what we are going to map the path path equal to R. Okay, I will use the related path. Sorry. Hello. Okay. Now file equal to open by Excel dot load underscore workbook and path. Next. What I'm going to do is like what is the active sheet sheet equal to file dot active now sheet uh, let's have a print form print statement here print time for for our validation part we'll be using a team print time statement okay now sheet dot shell where I'm going to write this uh, time that is sit dot cell column equal to one row equal to shift dot max underscore row plus one and then what's the value I'm going to print? I'm going to print time. Okay. So now I'm going to save it. File dot save. dot every seconds do schedule while the statement is true schedule schedule dot pending Okay, basically what I'm going to do is like I'm going to write I'm going to iterate the current system date and time again and again every five seconds I'm going to iterate and I'm going to print that print that current uh, system time in the Excel sheet so I'll just iterate the rows while printing it so let me show you schedule oh my god what's the error okay schedule let's see now ok 
okay so here I made a simple mistake uh, it should be uh, percentage D I'm I think I mentioned it directly D I think so let's see uh, yes it should be percentage D percentage D okay okay we have uh, quite a handful of data let's see whether uh, the actual sheet whether the data is available in the excel sheet or not yep you can see here um, this time was already there and it was a start printing beside the um, uh, next to that particular row and it will print n number of rows every five second in every five second interval hope you have understood my video if you have any doubts you can always write down a comment to me if you have liked my video please uh, press like button and for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you for watching